Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Building in Jamaica. Today we'll be talking about exterior finishes and comparing the cost and finish of painting your home versus putting on a trowel on finish versus something which is new to us called stucco. If you're interested in this video, please stick around to get all the juicy tips of these three different types of finish and also see our finished project and see what we did and how we saved on getting the exterior that we wanted. If you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Leave us a comment below and any questions that you may have relating to this topic. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up guys and check out the rest of the videos that we have in this series of building your home in Jamaica. As some of you are aware, we're currently renovating our home in Jamaica. In this video series, we share our journey of adding square footage to our home. We share our experience from planning phase to finishes and all the ins and outs of building in Jamaica as we know it. We hope you follow along on our journey and be inspired to buy a fixer property in Jamaica too. All right, guys, let's take a trip down memory lane and look back at what the house looked like. This is how it looked when we just purchased it. It did have a trowel on finish, and so it was easy for us to just paint over it when the community decided that this was the new color, this gray and green. So we just painted over the trowel on, and it was easy for us to, to maintain the finish because we, we actually like the trowel on. So now that we have done the addition, we want to have that kind of seamless transition without making it look like an addition. So we decided that we would put the trowel on onto the hose and then paint over it. Um, when we worked it out, we, dis we said that it would save us some money to do it this way and we would ensure that we had the same exact color transitioning from the previous structure to the new structure. Now let's talk a little bit about the different type of finishes. So the boy wants to get up all in the, the mud. Don't put your hand in it in a royal. There we go. He's satisfied to step in it. Don't put your hand in it. Come give me a little hand. So like I said before, we went with a standard white trowel on off the shelf finish. This is from Diamond or this is in the Diamond brand. And this isn't a mixed color guys. We just went into the store and picked up a few buckets. Each bucket cost about $7,000. That's right. If we wanted to mix in the color, the correct and standard color, which is the gray and green, the buckets would cost upwards of $12,000 per bucket. So we decided that we would save some by purchasing a standard color and then painting right over it. The street noise always kill me out here, but guys, we're here with Andre and Duane and they're putting the trowel on on the house. So Duane and Andre, how long now not do this? You have to talk louder still. Maybe more than, more than 15 years. 15 years? Yeah. So you paint too? Yeah. Okay then, Abby. But I do want to say plaster work. Um, oh, okay. Tape on plaster from drywall. Okay. And I do other texture finish with plaster, like brick finish, stone finish, diamond finish. Backside guys, I forgot to put him number in at this knock down yeah. every finish where you can think about for your wall in interior exterior. Yes. Both interior and exterior. Mm, that yeah. is Andre. Alright. Look like they're gonna call you as a contractor now. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm a company, Jim Touch Construction. Oh. Yes. Okay. All right, you have to give me the handle so that we can put this in the video too. 18 years, yeah. The way our original painter, he did the side of the house for us. And um, yeah, him come and do the trowel on work now too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you have to learn everything, man. You have to build up yourself. 
So guys, you're always asking me for people. I leave the contacts for these guys in and of course, you will see the finished product so you can determine for yourself but just based on what i'm seeing here me already impressed uh we'll walk around to the side all right thanks guys and they did all of this in one day by the way so the top and this and let's go around to the side so you can see how well they match it and this this is one day of work I'm taking a walk outside this is after one day of um, finishing well this is travel on as I said before and the guys completed this in one day they're coming back today to do the rest of it and also paint it in the color that, um, that we're supposed to paint it in but all this work it's a little rough around here, I don't want to fall. All this work was done in one day. So we're so much closer to finishing. Today is going to be a quiet but busy day. And I'm looking forward to it. Alright, so what is this? Tell me about this material and why it's different from travel on. Um, this is called Stucco Mix, also cheaper than shovel on, give you the same pattern and you get more coverage outside, depending on your wall. But the only down part is only coming two colors. White and grey? Yeah. And you have to mix it? Yeah. All so right. it's basically almost something close to a plaster material. Like. Okay. Yeah, but when your wall more the oil render and smooth, spread more and it get old for pattern, nice and pretty. I see. So that I'm using the ceiling pattern or no? Um I always see like pattern of the ceiling. Uh you have the plaster material which is the compound or the show coat. Oh them can do that too. Yeah. They can use the compound or the show coat to do a thing with them called comb, which is like a circuit thing. Oh yeah, I mean what that may talk about. <laughs> no, can I have an idea that. So that is a thing where you put the plaster up. You have to skim the ceiling first, mm -hmm. then put a good amount of plaster, and you have a thing with like a grit, like all the steel um the tile of steel float, you could grit them, mm -hmm. and you use it to make the design, the circular design. Okay. So that's. that's and you do that too? No. Okay, Get all right. It. All right. I do the knockdown finish. That's how the wall finish. Them do that in the ceiling too? Yeah. Oh cool, but that no mess up the place. I I treat my red mess up the place. Alright, sorry boss. Alright, let's get to mixing. No one to see what you want to do. Oh my work my dirty but then I did. And they clean up. And from the cleaning up, we get that wall finish up there and everything come together. Huh? One box of stucco mixed about two buckets of trowel on and we use the trowel on buckets to test it and the coverage was possibly wider i mean i have no test on this however the cost of one box of stucco is three thousand five hundred dollars for the base color and the base color in the trowel on is seven thousand dollars so do the maths guys we're getting a two for one deal here already I only recommend this to people who want the show line, who don't have the money to buy the show line. Something on the market, but a lot of people don't know about it. But most of them big apartments, they say, most of it's on it. So all them they just put it on and build it up and you get a pretty show line, expensive. Yeah? Well, we're putting it to the test today because we're going to put this on and compare the texture to the trowel line that we put on. And we're going to paint it and see if so guys, there you have it. If you can't afford to travel on, buy some stucco and paint it. Now I would like to point out that we did not render our exterior walls at all. We just asked our mason to rough cast it and leave it as is because this trowel on we imagine would be our rendering of the wall then to the texture that we wanted. So if you're planning to paint and you plan to smooth render, 
then that is a step that you would have to take you would have to render your walls and then paint it if you're considering to do a stucco finish or a trowel on finish we skip that step and that's something that you can consider doing too speak to your mason about it and your finisher to see how best this can work for you to save on some costs The next step now is to paint over the stucco and trowel on finish. We use about four gallons of paint, bearing in mind that when the wall has a texture, it uses more paint than when the wall is smooth. Um, and so we did use a little bit more for the seemingly smaller space. However, we did save, and if you do the mats guys, you'll realize that we saved quite a bit. And let's do some quick mats here say you wanted to trowel on your house and you needed the color trowel on at twelve thousand dollars a bucket if you need 10 buckets that's a hundred and twenty thousand dollars now if you buy the plain trowel on and paint over it then you would only be spending about ninety one thousand dollars to get the same finish that's a thirty thousand dollar saving right there if you were to consider using the stucco and paint that same now remember guys that the stucco is two to one for the trowel on so if you needed 10 buckets of trowel on you might need five boxes of stucco and the savings right there is phenomenal guys you save about what's this what's this mats working out to be eighty thousand dollars so i also wanted to compare just painting the house i don't have an estimate for how much granite sand and cement you would need to cover the same coverage for the stucco and the trowel on but you'd need to have cement and granite sand and the same paint to finish your home and so i think that the stucco is a good comparison if you want a textured finish um without spending a lot of money So this is the finished product and this side was shovel on and this side is shovel on so it seems as if based on the brand difference the texture is different we suspect because this looks like a finer grain than this one and both of them we were told were medium grain so yeah you can tell the difference but now that it's painted it's less obvious unless you're really looking for it well i can see it for sure um, where the window was you can definitely see it and around this window you can see the difference but that's how it's just gonna be um i mean to get this on the entire thing we would probably have to do over the entire thing since we weren't able to catch back the same pattern and grain size on this side let me show you guys the back that's the back We plan to do some kind of accent here, but until then, this is how we're rocking it. And we have also tiled this area. These tiles are actually from Creative. And the lay is a straight herringbone pattern. We still have a little masonry work to do in these areas. But those will be filled in. So I'm walking up to an area that where the trowel on and the stucco meet. So this side was trowel on, was trowel on, and this side is stucco. You can tell the slight difference in the texture and the pattern, but I mean, if the entire house was like this, you really couldn't tell that it wasn't trowel on. And 
we still I mean we tiled after we painted so we have some dust here that we just need to touch out but we'll get to it I'm sure you hear the saying that as soon as you paint your house you see every single fault in the wall so we will get to these things and just touch them out as we go along and as we finish the space and fix up these areas right here all right now we're at the end of another video in our building in jamaica series leave any comments or questions that you have below don't forget to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel bye guys see you in the next video